गुड इवनिंग डियर लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सतीश विशंबर लकड़े एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वॉल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन ऑन प्रोनाउंस पार्ट टू सो हियर्स द लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू यूज अप्रोप्रिएट रिफ्लेक्सिव एम्फेटिक एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस इन द कम्युनिकेशन सो एज आई डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस सेशन फॉर कन्वीनियंस सेक आई हैव डिवाइडेड द सेशन ऑन प्रोनाउंस इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स सो इन सेशन वन दैट इज पार्ट वन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस एंड नाउ इन पार्ट टू वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रिफ्लेक्सिव एम्फेटिक एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस सो now here is a question for you to think over and the question is what are the various types of pronouns we have already discussed this particular question in the first session on pronouns so i would request you to recall your previous knowledge and try and answer this particular question in a course journal so you can pause this video for some time write down the answer for this question and then resume the video welcome back and here's the answer so these are the various types of pronouns we have categorized the various types of pronouns into five categories first personal pronouns second reflexive and emphatic pronouns third demonstrative indefinite and distributive pronouns fourth relative pronouns and fifth interrogative pronouns and as i said in this session that is part 2 we would be discussing about reflexive emphatic and demonstrative pronouns so let us move to the next slide so now let us understand the concept of reflexive pronouns so what are reflexive pronouns and here we go when self which is a singular form is added to my your him her it and when selves which is a plural form i repeat when selves which is a plural form is added to our your them we get compound personal pronouns they are called as reflexive pronouns when the action done by the subject turns back that is reflects upon the subject itself as is illustrated in the following examples sentence number 1 i hurt myself now here myself is working as a reflexive pronoun because the action done by the subject i turns back or reflects upon the subject itself that is i hurt myself and so myself is a reflexive pronoun likewise in sentence number 2 he hurt himself now here himself is working as a reflexive pronoun because the action done by the subject he turns back or reflects upon the subject itself he that is why himself here is working as a reflexive pronoun likewise sentence number 3 we hurt ourselves so ourselves is working here as a reflexive pronoun then sentence number 4 you hurt yourself again the same rule and the same explanation that is yourself is working as a reflexive pronoun because the action done by the subject you turns back or reflects upon the subject itself and hence yourself is working as a reflexive pronoun here in sentence number 5 they hurt themselves now themself is working as a reflexive pronoun because the action done by the subject they turns back or reflects upon the subject itself and hence themselves is a reflexive pronoun here so this was about reflexive pronouns very simple concept to understand now we'll proceed to the next category that is emphatic pronouns so let us understand what are emphatic pronouns the following sentences show that the compound personal pronouns 
are used for the sake of emphasis and are therefore called emphatic pronouns. So, in simple words, emphatic pronouns are the pronouns which are used for the sake of emphasis. Sentence number one, I will do it myself. Here, myself is an emphatic pronoun because it is used for emphasis. In sentence number two, you yourself can best explain. Now here, yourself is used for emphasis. So the emphasis is on yourself. And so yourself is working as an emphatic pronoun. Sentence number three, the town itself is not very small. Here, the emphasis is on itself. So, itself is working as an emphatic pronoun. Number four, they themselves admitted their fault. Now, here, the focus or the emphasis is on themselves and hence, themselves, which is a pronoun, it is working as an emphatic pronoun. In simple words, Emphatic pronouns are used for the sake of emphasis and which is very much explained in the following four sentences. So with this, now we move to the next category that is uh, demonstrative pronouns. So read the following sentences. This is a present from my brother. These are merely excuses. Both pens are good, but this is better than that. Ratnagiri mangoes are better than those of Pune. There is no period in ancient Indian history so glorious as that of the Guptas. The stranger is welcomed as such. That is the fort of Panhara. You will find that in the above sentences, the highlighted pronouns are used to point out or to show the objects to which they refer. Therefore, they are called as demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative means to show, to point out. So, in all these sentences, the highlighted pronouns, they point out or they show the objects to which they refer and hence they are called as demonstrative pronouns. This was about demonstrative pronouns. Now, let us move to the next slide. Now, there is also a concept of demonstrative adjectives. Now, let us understand how demonstrative adjectives are different from demonstrative pronouns. This, that, these, those function as demonstrative adjectives when they are used with nouns because basically adjectives are used with nouns or before nouns. So here, whenever we have this, that, these, those used with nouns, they function as demonstrative adjectives. Now this is very much explained in the following examples. Sentence number one, this notebook is mine. Here, this is working as a demonstrative adjective because it is used with the noun notebook. Likewise, that pencil is yours. Here, that is working as a demonstrative adjective because it is used with the noun pencil. Likewise, these and those are functioning as demonstrative adjectives because they are used with the noun pens. So this was about demonstrative adjectives. Now let us move to the next slide. This refers to what is close at hand and nearest to the thought or person of the speaker. In simple words, this refers to things or persons which are very close and that refers to things or persons which are far away or remote. Example, this is better than that. So this is used for things or persons which are near and that is used for things or persons which are far away. So this is one more rule related to this and that. Now let us move to the next slide. That with its plural those is used to avoid the repetition of a preceding noun. Example, sentence number one, the climate of Kolhapur is like that of Pune. Here, that 
is used to avoid the repetition of a preceding noun that is climate likewise in sentence number 2 our soldiers are better trained than those of enemies now those is used instead of soldiers which is a preceding noun so those is used to avoid the repetition of a preceding noun that is soldiers so this is one more simple rule when two things which have been already mentioned are referred to this refers to the thing last mentioned and that refers to the thing first mentioned so this particular rule is very much exemplified in the following two sentences example number 1 virtue and vice offer themselves for your choice this that is it refers to vice which is last mentioned so this leads to misery and that to happiness now that here refers to the thing first mentioned and the thing first mentioned is virtue sentence number 2 alcohol and tobacco are both injurious this perhaps less than that now this refers to tobacco because this refers to the thing last mentioned and tobacco is the thing which is last mentioned and that refers to the thing first mentioned and alcohol is the thing which is first mentioned so i wish you a very happy learning and this is a reference for this particular work thank you so much